We're in uh, Naples, uh, 4404 Tamiami. Uh, I'll do a drive-by. I think some of these trees need to be trimmed up. Uh, you've got approximately 40 feet on uh, what I believe is the west side of the building. You've got plenty of room for a semi to come in here. I'll kind of do a walk around. There's a couple different options. We could pop an overhead door in the back here depending on how you want to split it with the possible cabinets to go. Um, we'd have to put an overhead door back here. Uh, you've got, as you can see, the building kind of slopes down and you, you've got from a low point of about 12 feet to a high point of about 16 feet. Uh, there's a suspended ceiling when you get in that's currently at 11 foot 6 inches. So um, we'd have to build a little bit of a ramp. Or the other option would be is this is your air conditioning, uh, or your air conditioners are. We can uh, possibly put an overhead door back here somewhere, depending on, again, how this split with the cabinets, and then just have a pad for the high-low and your uh, ramp to go back and forth and we'd have to uh, uh, probably uh, maybe relocate where the air conditioners are kept. The air conditioners were, uh, are currently stolen. The owner has uh, all the new ones in stock, so we'll be able to uh, get that. He, he's got all four uh, new air conditioners. We're not going to need them, but um, he's got them. walk into the building. The footprint of the building is approximately 12,000 square feet. You've got 120 feet uh, across the, the back, the front rather, and 100 feet going uh, deep. Building looks clean. You've got VCT tile throughout. And again, there's a multitude of ways that we can split the building. Building's not sprinkled. Um, you can see all the uh, tile in here. And this section of the building is currently uh, 120 by 80 feet. You've got the posts that sit 40, approximately 45 feet from the wall. You've got a storefront that is currently about 18 feet long, 7 feet high. You have two bathrooms, neither of which uh, are ADA. They're uh, five foot by seven foot. You have a little office in the back. In the back area, you've got an area that's, uh, that's uh, back here. There's not great light, but uh, this area is 120 by approximately, I believe it's 20 feet. This wall is a non-bearing wall. It could come out. As you can see, all the suspended, I mean, uh, the ceiling, except for the showroom, would need to, uh, to be redone, and probably even in the showroom, it's not in great shape. The roof, uh, the owner uh, represents that the roof is uh, in sound shape. There is no warranty on the roof. Um, so basically, we got a big box that we could do with what we want. We'll, uh, kind of do some drawings and see how's the best way of uh, utilizing the front. You've got approximately 47 feet from that edge of the window there to work with and you got 52 feet that way so um, I'll have to try to figure it out. There is two opening doors so if we, if we want to do two showrooms the logical thing would be is to kind of just split, build a wall right in, in the middle of where that window pane is, come in, one entrance would be for cabinets to go, one entrance would be for lumber liquidators. That might be the easiest uh, way to split it. You can end up with about a 60 by 20, 60 by 30, 60 by 40. If you take the showroom, the wall back here, Tom, you'd end up with about a 60 by, uh, I'm sorry, about a 55 by uh, 45 showroom. 
with uh, that being the door and then you could uh, make lumber liquidators approximately uh, 40 by 30 um, area and that's it I'll do a panoramic and the front I'll do some drive-bys as well